everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway here with my weekly makeup basket where I'm going to pick the products that I'm going to use for the upcoming week to help me rotate through all my products and get ready more quickly in the morning. So I'm holding in front of you last week's basket. I will have that linked down below. And I also did a get ready with me using these products. So I'll have that linked down below as well. So if you want to see the products that I pick for the week and also I have kind of a new makeup organization thing so if you want to see both these things then just keep watching all right so if you're looking at my drawer you only see about half of my makeup collection and let me explain to you what's going through my head so I'm about three weeks of not buying makeup and I did this uh, like not this winter but the winter before I went on a no buy that lasted almost for all of winter I think I broke down like two weeks before spring came and it really uh, shifted my focus from buying makeup and all that stuff and really shifted me to using up what I have and as I've said before um, I'm in a position right now that puts me on a tight budget so it's really given me time to really focus on the items that I have so what I did was in this drawer I pulled out all of my makeup products that are like love them like you will have to pry them out of my dead hands <laughs> if you want me to get rid of them and so that's what these products are and I was also thinking about like my ideal makeup collection because everyone project pans and declutters all to have a smaller collection but what does that look like because that's very relative what it means to have a small collection and so I was like okay Abby pull out the products you love and that it's a size that you feel happy with and honestly I think this is it but I have another drawer of makeup and I like the items but they're not items that if I had to repurchase I would repurchase so I just separate them and I want to focus on the other drawer which I'm about to show you and really focus on using those items and then deciding do I want to keep them are they going to move down to this drawer pass it to a friend or what's the deal so let me go ahead and show you the other drawer because that will be a lot of the focus in the upcoming months basically for the rest of the year so let me open that up for you okay so this is the second drawer that I was just mentioning and this is a utensil holder that I just had on hand because we got a new one and this was our old one but anyways these are products that I like and I use often but for some reason when I look at them I don't think to myself I have to have it like you cannot take that from me, if that makes sense. So let me explain to you how it's divided up. This section right here, these are all items that I want to put in a project pan or in a kind of use it uh, type of thing. Maybe I pull it each week until it's gone. And a lot of these are chosen because I do like them a lot, but they're close to the expiration date, so I want to put a focus on them. Or maybe they are like, for example, this powder by NYX. It's the banana uh, powder in the HD finish. I like it, and it, uh, but it's my next powder that will is the oldest when I'm done with the one in my project pan. So I just want this to be like, a, hey, Abby, that's the next one to use. So I, like I said, I like these products, but like for example, this Milani lip color in uh, I think it's Rave. I love it, but it's old. It's about to be two years old, so I want to work through it. I love these e.l.f. matte creams, but they're getting to the point of drying out, so I want to use those. And then this Smashbox uh, primer, there's like three uses in it. So I just want to make sure that I'm focusing on using these items because I like them, but um, you know they're getting close to being expired or next up to use, so I want to... Make sure I'm focusing on those. And the center here are products that I have purchased in the last four months that either I've only used a couple of times since I purchased them or actually haven't used them at all. So I just put all of them in a center to be a focus to pull them each week. Um, I haven't really even decided how I really feel about each of them. They're just products I'm like, oh, I have to have it, and then I never really used them. So I just want this to be a focus for using them. And then this back section and this section right here, these are all products that I like 
a lot, but I don't know that I love them. So I want to kind of put them here as a focus to pull them and kind of make a decision about how I feel about them. Um, because I just want to always have products that I love and I want to make sure that I'm using everything. So I hope that makes sense. So I really want to focus on this drawer for the next, well, basically the rest of the year. And I don't necessarily want to get rid of something to get rid of something. Like, I don't want to do like an inventory where I can only have three powders. So I'm going to get rid of every one I have because it's not three powders or something like that. I don't want to get rid of stuff to get rid of stuff. But I do want to make sure that I'm holding on stuff that I truly like and that it's not just because it was like a hyped item on YouTube or because I spent money on it so I feel like I have to keep it, that kind of thing. So I hope all of that makes sense. But these will be the items that I focus on when I am either choosing my project pans or if I am going ahead and picking items for the week, that kind of thing. So, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so, we're going to start with eyes like I usually do. And the one thing that comes to mind uh, when I think about my eyes is this is the L'Oreal um, Colorice in 207. This is kind of like a taupe purple color and I was so excited to get this but I haven't really even used it maybe like twice and I think this would be a really pretty all over like one color all over the lid and that would help a lot in getting ready um quickly in the morning since I have to wake up so early so I am gonna pull that and I do have a kind of a basics quad that I am panning um but I do want to pan one more thing because I think that I might get bored with just one eyeshadow, so um, I will go ahead and pull, let's see, um, I think I'll go ahead and pull this NYX Love in Paris. I love this palette, and I have talked about it a lot, but for some reason I don't grab it that often. Um, it could just be because I have other palettes that I'm trying to rotate through, which if that's the case, that's fine. I'll keep it. But I do want to give it love this week and see if it's something I want to hold on to or what's the deal. But I do love it. It's the um, Merce Beku. I think it's pretty good quality for being $10, and you can always use the $350 off $10 um, coupon. Well, you'd have to get something else because it's actually like $9.99. But anyways... Um, it's pretty, so why am I not pulling it? I don't know. We'll figure it out this week. So I will pull that. So that will be my two eye products. Um, yeah, and I think that's it. And then for face, um, I have been using the e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer. I pulled it last week, and I do like it a lot to apply with a brush. I've been mixing in the matte... Uh, L'Oreal Magic Lumi. I had these in my Get Ready With Me that I posted this week. Um, I do really like this with a brush. With the Beauty Blender, I think it makes it too patchy and it's hard to use. So, um, yeah. I like it and I do want to pan it. So I'm going to just sit it over here for the week because it's not a favorite, but I do want to work through it and not waste it. Um, but I do want to take a break and use the Maybelline Dream Wonder. I was so excited to buy this, and I've been on the fence about buying it for, like, honestly a year. And I've bought it, and I've had it for, like, a month or two, and I used it once or twice. So I do want to give that some love for the week. Um, and then, let's see, for blush, um, what do I want to do? In here is the e.l.f. Whoop, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Blush Palette in Light. And I have kind of mixed around what I have. But I haven't played with any of them since I moved them in here. This is one of the contour colors right there. Um, but other than that, I haven't played with it. So I do want to grab that as well. And um, let me see what else. I will go ahead and pull L'Oreal Infallible. This is Ice Latte. I want to play with it as a highlight and an eyeshadow, but mostly in highlight. I got it. Again, I was so excited, and I haven't really even used it. So I will pull this for the week as well. And let's see. 
I have some lip glosses in a project pan, so I think I'm going to hold off on these items. This is more blush. Let me go back into the other drawer and see if there's anything else I want to pull. Okay, and this is back into my favorite drawer. Let me know if you like the angle. You're kind of up higher this week. Um, okay, what do I want to pull from here? I have a bronzer and a project pan, a face powder. I already put my eyeshadows. Um, I don't really think there's anything else to pull out of here. Um, oops, <laughs> oops, let's see, no, I think I'm honestly, good. no, you know what I want to pull, oops, I'm making a mess here, I'm going to pull Bite Beauty, this is in Cognic, Cognic, it's a nice, pretty, like, maroon brown color so I will pull this for the week I haven't really played with it that much I do need a concealer and I was going to tell you guys that I did go ahead and take the Urban Decay Naked Skin back I had the Fair Neutral and I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it but um, we ended up going to Ulta so I exchanged it for the Light Neutral and I do like it and as you can see it's a little lighter than the Maybelline Better Skin in Light but um, it's more of like a better skin tone for me. So I'm glad that I decided to do that. Because I was just thinking, I'm like, you know what? I spent too much on that to not have it in the right color. So um, I think for the week, I'm going to, what do I want to do? I'll, I guess I'll just use the the Urban Decay one. I haven't, I've used it a couple of times. So I know it's the right color, but, you know, other than that, I haven't played with it. Oh, I do need an under eye setting powder. So, what do I want? This is a highlight, the Laura Mercier highlight. I wonder... I wonder if that would be too glowy. That might be too glowy to under eye. Um, last week I did have the Wet n Wild Dulce Good or Dulce de Leche. Hello. Um, and I really do like the powder. It's really easy to use. So I will just go ahead and pull this again for the week to set that concealer. And yeah, I think that's everything. So let me put everything back in my basket and I will show you what we've picked. Okay, I went back into the top drawer and decided I'm going to pull Streak by Urban Decay. It is this bright, springy pink color. So I'm going to play with that some this week. And I'm also going to go ahead and just keep this Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit in my basket. It'll be one of the products that I don't really talk about unless I use it up and decide to switch it out. So I am gonna go ahead and use that as an ongoing item. So here we go. Here are the items that I will be using for the next week. The other items that are in here that I did not mention are either just items I always have on hand, which I've talked about in the past, or they are my Project Pan items, and I'll have those videos linked down below. Like I said in the beginning, there'll be a Get Ready posted down below and last week's makeup basket down below. So I appreciate you guys all watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!